Hello everyone, this is Joanne. Good to see you again everyone. And uh, welcome back to our class. And today we're going to study about topic test. Do you know what the topic test is? It's Korean language the test. All right. So today is the second class. It's, uh, we're going to study about reading part, especially the type two question. Type two question is you can read a sentence and uh, there is a blank so you can choose select the right correct vocabulary uh, and then choose one word and fill in the blank okay here we go the type 2 type 2 question is from question number from 34 to 39 all five questions are there so still is not that difficult part so you shouldn't you shouldn't make a uh, any you know mistakes all right here we go so number one okay i'm gonna read those question first number one 갈호 안에 들어갈 가장 알맞은 것을 고르십시오 so here's the box so you can read the sentence and can you see the blank so you need to read the these four words and select one which is the best which is the best word for this blank here we go 친구 언제 옵니까? 친구 do you know the do you know the, the word 친구? It's friend. And especially in this sentence, this 친구 is the subject. So you know what? In Korean uh, grammar, we have a subject maker. Do you know subject maker? So we need subject maker for this uh, blank. So here, uh, number one to four, 은, 는, 을, 에. So can you find which is subject maker? Yes, that's right. Number one and two, 은 and 는, a are the subject maker. So how can you choose which is right for that blank? All right, the answer is, oh, sorry, the answer is, Okay, before that, I'm going to let you know. So, so subject plus 은, 는. I told you this is the subject maker. So subject maker has uh, are two, but we need to choose right subject maker for 친구. So here you go, 친구. Uh, the, you can look at the last letter, 구. Yeah? And then 선생님. Also, you can look at the last word of 선생님, 님. So, can you find which is the difference between 친구 and 님? That's right. The 친구, 구 doesn't have any 받침. Remember the 받침? 받침 is, look at this. First, second, third, last. This last consonant we call 받침. So, 친구, 구 doesn't have any 받침. What about 선생님? Oh, uh, name of the 선생님? Name has first, second, last. Can you see? It has 받침, right? So, if, if the word doesn't have any 받침, you need to use 는, 친구는, all right? If the last letter has the 받침, you should use 은, 선생님 은. So can, do you understand about it? So look at here, 친구 은 언제 옵니까? So which subject maker best for 친구? 친구 는. Okay, here we go. So the answer will be number two, 는. Subject maker is, I think, Few, few, few you know, country, few language has so subject maker. So maybe it's difficult to understand for you, but you should remember this kind of question always, always come out. So number two. Okay, I'm gonna call the blank ding ding. All right, ding ding. E 갑니다. 책을 삽니다. Okay, here's the point word, 책. So what is 책? It's a book, right? It's a book. So, 
다 mean buy. Okay, so I am I'm I buy the book, right? I buy books. So where? Where do I buy the book? Yes, that's right. Bookstore, right? Do you know how to say in bookstore in Korean? Okay, let's find it. 병원, 교실, 학교, 서점. So number one, 병원. What is 병원? It's the where we go uh, when we are sick. That's right. It's a hospital, right? Number two, 교실. The where um, we go here, we study and there are students and the teachers. This is at the school. So what is it? That's right, classroom. Number three. I told you already the the 교실 is in the 학교. So 학교 is school, right? And the last one, number four, 서점. 서점 is the place we buy the book, the bookstore, right? So the answer will be number four, 서점. All right. So here's some more vocabulary word for place. So we saw what we saw already the four different places, right? And the first one. So this place we uh, we are going here, going to here for you know healing and the curing. So which place is it? Pyongwon. Pyongwon. And then we we study in this place and then this is at the school. So what's this? 교실, 교실, 교실. And then also students and teachers are here and then the students go to here to study. So which place is it? 학교, 학교. And the last one, there are so many books and we can buy the books. So, and what is it? 서점, 서점, 서점. So please remember all these you know, vocabulary of places. Let's move number three. 저는 학생입니다. 공부를 땡땡땡. All right, here we, go, here we go the keyword 학생 and 공부. 학생 is the people who study at school, who are they? Student, that's right. And 공부, 공부 is the, the thing, the thing student to, students do. What students do? Studying, right? Studying. So, in Korean word, in English word, so we only one word study mean, you know, the action of the studying, right? But in Korean word, 공부 is the noun, the, the name, the, just the name of the, the action, uh, action student do. So we need some verb here, all right? So we should find the right verb in this blank. Number one, 합니다. If you don't understand the vocabulary, you can um, make a sentence. 공부를 합니다. 공부를 모릅니다. 공부를 가르칩니다. 공부를 일어납니다. So what do you think? What is the best vocabulary for this blank with 공부? We normally use 공부 with 하다. 공부를 하다. It means study. Do study. 공부를 하다. 하다 verb is the do. Alright, do verb. So 공부를 합니다 is the best answer. 모릅니다 mean I don't know. But in this situation is not that great answer, right? 가르칩니다. 가르칩니다 mean teach. So who is who are who teach who teaches 
teacher, right? 선생님. But there's no word. There's no the word 선생님 in this sentence. So it's not very right for this sentence. Number four, 일어납니다. Mean has two meaning. Stand up and wake up. And also, 일어납니다 is not the right in this blank. So the answer will be 공부를 합니다. Number four, 요즘 일이 많습니다. 나는 땡땡땡. You can hear the keyword 일 and 많습니다. 일 is work. I have so many work. So I am. How am I if I have to do? I have to work so much. How am I? And then number one, 비쌉니다. Expensive. Hmm, that's not right. Number two, 바쁩니다. Busy. I am busy. Hmm, it makes sense, right? Number three, 많습니다. A lot. A lot what? So I cannot guess what what it means. 나쁩니다. Bad. Hmm. Bad. It's not I am bad if I'm I have work a lot. I don't think so. So the best answer will be number two. Oh, number two. Okay, can you check? So 나는 오늘 일이 많습니다. 나는 바쁩니다. Number five. Oh. 바다를 좋아합니다. 그래서 수영을 땡땡땡 합니다. Alright, here's keyword 수영 and then 바다 좋아합니다. No, 바다 is the sea or beach. The 바다. So 바다 means and 좋아합니다. I like. I like it. So I like the beach. I like the sea. So so, 수영, 수영 is swimming, right? Swimming. So, can I like the I like the sea and the water, ocean. So I swim. Ding, ding, ding. In this blank four, we need to find out, you know, the adverb word. Okay, adverb. Okay, here we go. Number one, 자주. 자주 means often. Number two, 제일. Mean the most. Number three, 아주 mean so much, too, or very, something like that. And then number four, 아까 mean it's about the time before, before. Okay. So which word, which adverb is a very um, good for this plan? 수영을 자주, often, right? 자주 합니다. Let's move number six. 줄이 너무 깁니다. 그래서 땡땡땡 씹습니다. Okay, I'll let you know that 그래서 means so. So always, uh, the before the sentence, before uh, so the sentence will be the Reason, all right. Reason or excuse, and the after the the sentence with so 그래서 is always be reserved or um, something like that. All right, here we go. 줄이 너무 깁니다. 줄. You know what? 줄 is the string line, right? String. 그래서 so 씹습니다. 씹다 means I want. So this line, this string is too long. So what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Number one, 자르고. Number two, 나오고. Number three, 가지고. Number four, 마시고. Alright. This line is too long. So I want to cut, right? So the answer, best answer for number one, 자르고. Here's more uh, expression. Oh. OK. 
here we go. In English, if you want to say cut, I want to cut, right? The cut never changed, right? Just to cut. To plus cut. But in Korean word, we need to change the verb a little, the ending, the ending letter, the connector. We need to make the connector, right? So, 자르다, do you know, cut, 자르다 plus 고싶다. If you want to make one word, one vocabulary, you should move out 다. And then plus 고싶다. So, 자르고 싶다. You can erase it. 자르고 싶다. So you should make this connector, right? 자르고 싶다. Do you understand? Alright, here we go. Number seven, 도서관에 갑니다. 땡땡땡을 빌립니다. Here is keyword 도서관. 도서관 is the place we borrow the book. We can read a book. So which place is it? Library, right? Library. So, what do we borrow from library? The book, right? Books. In Korean word, that's right. Check. Oh my God. Check. Check. So, number two, 물. What's 물? Water. And number three, 옷. The thing we wear, 옷. Clothes. And the bang. The thing we ate, we eat from the bakery. So what's that? Bread. Okay, good. So the answer is number one. Check. Number eight. 한국어가 어렵습니다. 친구 땡땡 물어봅니다. Here's the keyword. 한국어가 어렵습니다. 어렵습니다. Mean 어렵다 means. Difficult. That's right. Korean is difficult. So, friend, 물어봅니다. 물어봅니다. 물어보다 means. Do you know what? 물어봅니. 물어보다 means. Ask. Right. That's right. Ask. So, 친구. It's a friend. You can ask to friend. Right. In Korean, we need to have. You know the. Object maker. Remember, we have subject maker and the connector, and also object maker. All right. So object maker is 을 and 를 or 에게. Okay, so in this here, you should ask to friend, right? Should to ask friend. So, uh, is going to your friend the question, right? In this town, we need to use the object maker, 에게. 친구 에게 물어봅니다. 친구 에게 물어봅니다. Number one, 의, 의 means, uh, this is of, of. So, this is my book. So, you can say, or, I, or this is teacher's book. So, you can say, this is book of teacher, right? And in Korean, 선생님의 책. Remember? 선생님의 책. 를 is object maker. So I like you. In English, you don't you don't need you know object maker, but in Korea, I like you. 나는 너를 좋아해. Do you understand? 나는 너를 좋아해. 너 plus object maker 를. Okay. Right, good. Number four, 에서 mean from. So. Uh, or at, 
from or at. Uh, I go to go home from. Uh, I go home from school. So 나는 학교에서 집으로 갑니다. So do you understand number eight? A little bit difficult and a little bit difficult to explain to you also. Number nine. 갈호 안에 들어갈 가장 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. 극장이 땡땡땡. 그래서 걸어서 갑니다. Here's a hint. 걸어서 갑니다. So, the place where we go, we go to by walk on foot. It means uh, is it far from here or close from here? Yes, that's right. It's very close from here so we can walk, right? So we need to find out right word for here. Number one, 작습니다. Small, little. Number two, 많습니다. A lot, a lot of, so much. 3번, 가깝습니다. Close. Right, not far. Number four, 깨끗합니다. Clean, not dirty. So, right answer for here, number three. 가깝습니다. 가깝다 means close. It is close. Okay? So, 극장이 가깝습니다. 그래서 걸어서 갑니다. Number ten, 수업이 끝났습니다. 교실에서 땡땡땡. So here's the hint, 수업 끝. 수업 끝. And then what, if your student, the class is over. So what do you do? What will you do? 교실에서? Alright, you are going to go out of classroom, right? For, because it's, class is over, right? So number one, 삽니다. By the action you buy. Hmm? Number two, 씁니다. You write. And then number three, 지냅니다. Means stay, leave. Number four, 나갑니다. Go out. So right answer for here, number four. Number eleven, 한국 여행이 재미있었습니다. 다음에 땡땡땡 갈 겁니다. Here keyword 여행 재미 다음. So the 여행. Do you know what does 여행 means? What does what does 여행 means? It means trip, traveling, right? And then 재미 is fun, right? So the traveling, the trip was fun. The trip was fun. And then 다음 mean next time. Next. Next time, what do you want to do? If the trip was really, really fun, what do you want to do? And next time, you will go again, right? You're going to go there again. Or you're going to travel again, right? So, we need to find out the word again in Korean. Number one, 다시. 다시 mean keep doing this. Keep doing this over and over. Means again, right? Number two, 서로. Here's here the two people, 서로, each other. And then number three, 아주. So much. I love you so much. 나는 너를 아주 좋아해. Number four, 제일. You're the best. 네가 제일이야. You're the best. Okay. So here we go. Right word for here. 다시. 한국 여행이 재미있었습니다. 다음에 다시 갈 겁니다. Alright. Do you understand about until here? So we have some a few a few question more. Number twelve. 비가 옵니다. 그리고 바람도 땡땡땡. Oh. I was trying to say the answer. So which answer is the best for this blank? 바람도 땡땡땡. This is about the weather. 
비가 옵니다. 비가 오다. Rainy. It is rainy and the 바람도 땡땡. The wind. Wind blows, right? Blows. So we can find out the word the wind blows. The answer will be that's right. Number two. 붑니다. 불다. 불다. 바람이 불다. So number one, 줌, 줌, 줌니다. 줌니다 mean give, 주다, give. And then 옵니다. Number three, 옵니다. 오다, come. And then number four, 됩니다. 되다, 되다. Become or... 됩니다. Become. All right. So here's some more expression for the weather. Okay. This is about the weather. Number one, 비가 오다. You know what? In English, there's only one word for the weather. I mean, it is rainy, it is windy, it is sunny, it is cloudy, something like that. But in Korea, we need to use one noun and the one verb, okay? 비 is the rain, but in Korea, in the English, rain has two different meaning. Be the, uh, the, I mean, the noun of rain and the verb of rain, right? But in Korean, be is just noun. So we need some more, you know, the subject maker and then verb. 비가 오다. We can express the rain comes. Comes, rain comes. And then number two, 바람. In English, we can say it is windy, right? But in Korean, 바람 also is just none. So we need some subject maker and then verb. 바람이 불다. 바람이 불다. Means wind blows. Number three, 눈이 오다. 눈 is snow. In Korean word, 눈 has only none. So, 눈 이 오다. Also, snow comes. So, remember, 비 and 눈, you need to say the, the verb comes. 오다. 바람 is the verb 불다. Okay? Please move next case number 13. 안방이 춥습니다. 문을 땡땡땡. Do you know what is 안방? Hmm? In Korea, in Korea, they are the, it, this is a house. House. And there are some rooms over there. This is a room. And then bathroom. And the here the laundry room, and then here the uh, living room, and here's kitchen and dining room, and this is the door. So the anbang is the biggest room here. So this will be anbang. Okay, remember? Understand, right? And so this room anbang. 춥습니다. It's cold, cold. So the room is very cold. I mean, the, the atmosphere is cold or the floor is cold, something like that. So uh, if you feel cold in the room, so what do you do with the door? 문. 문을 close or open. Of course, we are going to close the door, right? 문을 닫다. 문을 닫다. Number one, 닫습니다. That's right, 문을 닫습니다. Number two, 닫습니다. 닫다. Big, 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 wipe. Clean. Are you going to clean the door if you feel very cold in the room? It doesn't make sense, right? Number three, 놓습니다. Put. 문을 
put. Mm -mm. Number four, 그립니다. You can draw the door when you feel cold in the room. It also doesn't make sense. So which is the best? Number one, 문을 닫습니다. Close the door. Okay? Alright, number 14. 색소폰을 오래 배웠습니다. 그래서 색소폰을 잘 땡땡땡. 색소폰, 색소폰 is saxophone. The musical instrument, right? So, 오래 배웠습니다. I learned the saxophone so long. So, here we go. So, 그래서 so. So, what did I told you? What what I told you before, because the before the word 그래서 is the reason, right, or excuse. And after the word, uh, after the sentence, uh, it will be the result, right? So, the reason or excuse. I learned the saxophone so long. So, can you imagine what can I do after, you know, learning saxophone so long and then 잘 mean well so I do something well so what do I something well? 섹소폰을 잘 number one 빌립니다 it's a borrow mm. number two 칩니다 ding 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 or right. ding 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 칩니다 or 퉁퉁퉁퉁퉁퉁 칩니다 so saxophone, the extra intri, musical instrument, are you going to hit, hitting? No, B. Number three, 붑니다. Blow. Yeah, that's right. Saxophone을 붑니다. And then number four, 지킵니다. Keep. I can keep the saxophone. Why? It doesn't make a sense, right? So the best answer for number three and I know you may be confused to understand, you know, about this expression. So I will let you know more. Uh, in English, uh, you can use only one verb, play with the musical instrument, right? Play the piano, play the violin, play the guitar, right? But in Korea, we have different verb with this musical instrument, all right? First, piano. Piano, the action looks like that. Ding, 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 ding. So we can use the verb 치다. Piano를 치다. Number two, violin. Bing, 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 bing. All right, violin, we can say 켜다. 켜다. Sounds like weird, right? And then guitar, 기타를 so, 치다, 기타를 치다. Trumpet, 슬, 불다. 불다, this word 불다 with uh, all the musical instruments are, you, the, you can play with your mouth. So, so, easy to remember, right? And then, normally when you use your hand, so you can say 치다, but the number two violin has, you know, the stick, long stick, right? So we can say 켜다, all right? So we have all different expressions for the musical instrument, so you should remember this right expression, all right? Okay. Uh, number 50 will be the last question for today. Today is the, the second reading part, type 2, it's first class. So after the next time, we're going to study a little bit more for the type 2. But the number 15 will be the last question. 시간을 모릅니다. 땡땡땡을 봅니다. Here's a cast, uh, keyword, 시간. And then 모릅니다, 봅니다. So what is the 시간? It's the time, right? Time. So I don't know what time is it right now. So, oh, what time is it? What do I need to see? What do I need to see? Number one, 주소. What is 주소? Where 
I live, the name of where I live is address, right? Number two, 편지. The little paper someone write for me is letter, right? Number three, 잡지. Oh, there's a new fashion and a new, oh, new cosmetic. What is that? It's a magazine, right? So these all doesn't make sense. And then number four, 시계. What is 시계? You can see the time, right? So write answer for number four. 시간을 물입니다. 시계를 봅니다. 시계. What time is it now? Oh, I don't have any watch here. All right. So that's all for today. Whew. It's not that easy to understand today. So because there are so many complicated grammar and the vocabulary, so you should you should mem memo or write down uh, some new vocabulary or grammar. Okay. And then we're going to see you next time again. 다음 시간에 다시 만나요. 감사합니다.